everyone, and welcome to another episode of My Viewboard How To's. How is everyone feeling today? Type it in the comments. How are you feeling? Are you happy? Are you sad? Are you angry because something happened? How are you feeling? Type it in the comments. Or are you excited? Because today we're going to be learning about how to use My Viewboard Originals. So first off, what is My Viewboard Originals? Well, it contains different lesson activities, game-based learning, and backgrounds that you can use in your lessons. And in order to use it, well, first, you need to know how you can open it. <laughs> so there are three different ways that you can open My Viewboard Originals. You can use the file manager, your regular browser, or you can use your embedded browser to open up My Viewboard Originals. For the file manager option, um, we're not going to show that one today because if you use that option, it will actually close out your current slides. So personal preference wise, I prefer using the regular browser. So I'm going to show that to you now using the regular browser. So I'm going to use my handy Windows toggle button and then click and toggle to my desktop. And now I can just do a quick Google search of my Viewboard originals. And the first one that pops up will be my Viewboard originals. So just click on that. And as you can see, my Viewboard originals has so many different content that teachers can use to prepare their lessons. Look at all that different content, all these different activities you can just directly use and put it into your lessons. So let's say, for example, you are a math teacher. You can go here and you can filter the different original content by subjects, for example, math. And let's say for today, you want to teach about 3D shapes. So you can just type in the search bar 3D shapes. And as you can see, look, there's three different lesson content that you can use about 3D shapes. So for today, I want to use this one. And I can just go directly into the activity guide, like so. And it'll give a brief description of the lesson. And you can then download the .vboard file and be able to use it in your classes. And the other really cool feature is over here, there is a video explaining exactly how you can use this lesson in your classes. This is really useful because then you can just go to all the different lessons and you can go to the activity guide and watch this video and then you can see how you can use it. Okay, so first I'm gonna download the .bboard file and it, as it's downloading, I'm gonna toggle back into my whiteboard canvas and in order to open up that lesson, all I have to do is go into my magic box and I can go onto my local hard drive and find that lesson and open it up. Just double click on it and it directly opens up the lesson onto your canvas. So the cool thing about doing it through this way, through the magic box, it will not close out your previous files. As you can see, the previous slides, it won't close it out. So now you can go through the lesson about 3D shapes. And this specific lesson is a video assisted learning lesson because it contains a video from my viewboard clips that you can use with your students to teach them about 3D shapes. And next week, I'll be talking more about how you can use my viewboard clips. So I can go into the video and click on it, and then I'll just give you a little sample of the video to show you what it's like. Let's rock math. Sphere, cylinder, pyramid, cube, cone. They're all 3D shapes. There are many places to find a sphere, like if a tennis ball happens to roll here. You can shoot a sphere playing basketball, and you see one in the sky with the moon light. So as you can see, um, the video content isn't boring. It actually has like upbeat music and it's a very cool way for students to learn about 3D shapes. 
And that is how you can use video assisted learning in your lessons. So really cool. And for this one, for this activity, what you can do is you can have the students, if you're doing a video conferencing um, and you have a software where they can take control of your screen, then you can have them take control of your screen and be able to move these objects for which ones are spheres. So for today, since we're not doing video conferencing, type in the comments, which ones are spheres? Which ones of these different objects are spheres? Type it in the comments. And if you are doing in-class learning and you have an interactive flat panel, like a V board, then you can just directly have the students come up to the board and then they can just move the objects into the correct places. So let's see, which ones are spheres? Well, of course, the ball, another ball, the baseball, the orange, and the globe. So you can have your students move them onto the campus to see which ones are spheres. And now you can go through the other 3D shapes and do the same thing and have your students manipulate the objects onto the board. Okay, now for this one, you can do a really fun activity where you can have your students go on a scavenger hunt around their house. Um, and they can take pictures and throw it onto the board of the different cylinder shaped objects in their house. Or if you're in class, you can have them take a photo of cylinder shaped objects around the classroom and see if they can find different things and take pictures and then throw it onto the board. So the way that they can do that is they can use the companion app, as you can see, and they can do the throw option on the companion app. And they can just directly use the camera option, take a photo and then throw it onto the board. The other way is you can use your QR code and you can have the students scan the QR code if they don't have the companion app yet. And they can do that and throw it onto the board. So let's try that out now. If you have your companion app, that is the easiest way. You just use that and choose the throw option, take a picture of cylinder shaped objects and then just throw it onto the board. If you don't, you can use the QR code and scan it on your phone or tablet and then choose the throw option. And remember, for the host name, it's MVB How To. MVB How To. And then you can just directly use it and throw a cylinder shaped thing onto the board. So let's see, I'm gonna give you one minute and let's see who can do this. Throw a cylinder shaped object onto the board. Okay. I see some people are already throwing it onto the board and then I'll give you a bit more time to see if anybody else can throw a cylinder shaped thing onto the board. For your students, you have this option where they can throw the different cylinder shaped things. Or another way that you can do this is you can do this as a homework assignment and the students can, for homework, look for different objects around their house that are these 3D shapes, take a picture and then submit it as a homework assignment. So it's up to you how you would like to use this lesson. Um, you can change it around, do different things, make it your own. So that's the beauty of my Viewboard Originals. And I can hear like a lot of different people are adding things onto the canvas. We have 12 more seconds. Let's see who else can do some more things and add it onto the canvas. And as you can see at the four second mark, it starts stinging to let students know that time is almost up. Okay, let's see what you threw onto the board for cylinder shaped objects. I can go back into my magic box and then I'll go into the throw feature to see what the students threw. Let's see. 
Okay, so a Red Bull container. Nice. What else? Oh, a lot of different things. Oh, cup. Yes. Nice. And wow, you guys are really fast. <laughs> That's cool. A perfume or a makeup container. Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> That's cool. Um, different wet wipes, I guess. And a vitamin container. I have the same vitamin. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so as you can see, the students can throw the different things onto the canvas. So that's a really cool activity that you can do with your students. And it also gets them up and running, <laughs> moving around the house. <laughs> and then they can just throw it onto the board. Or if you're in class, then you can have the students find things around the class to throw on the board. It's a really fun game you can play. Okay, and now for pyramid. For the pyramid, it's a lot harder to find different objects around your house that are pyramid shaped. So instead, what you can do is you can have students um, who image search, do an image search of different pyramid shaped objects, and they can just throw it onto the board that way. Just Google search image is of pyramid shaped things save it onto their phone, and then they can go to the browse feature from throw and then throw it onto the canvas. So some of you are probably a little bit tired running around <laughs> finding the different uh, cylinder shaped objects. So I'll give you a rest. Just type it in the comments this time around. Give you a rest. Um, what are some pyramid shaped things? This one is a bit harder because cylinder shaped things, you can find many of them around the house, but pyramid shaped things. What are some pyramid shaped things? Type it in the comments. And let's go over it together. What are some pyramid shaped things? So I can go into my magic box, go into image search, and search for some pyramid shaped things. Ah, so a pyramid shaped building, the actual pyramids itself, <laughs> a pyramid shaped fireplace, and toys. So these are all different things that are pyramid shaped. And you can have your students just throw the images that they find in Google search onto the canvas. So that's another option that you can do with this lesson. Okay. So that is a quick tutorial of one of the lessons that you can use with My Viewboard Originals. So as you can see, it's really useful. And now let me show you some other useful features of my viewboard originals. Okay, so let's see originals games. I'm gonna go into my embedded browser and show you the other way that you can use my viewboard originals. And if you click on that, over here on the right hand side, there is gonna be a tile that has original content. You just click on that and it will directly take you to my viewboard originals. And I want to go into the online games option. Like before, I'm going to show you the counting finches again, like I did in the very end of last lesson. I'm going to click on this counting finches. And like I told you before, you can use this game in your regular browser, but in the embedded browser, the game will not work. Though, there is another way to make it work by adding it as a widget to your canvas. So over here, if you see the four different boxes, if you click on this, it's going to add this web page as a widget onto your canvas. And now you'll be able to access this game normally. So you can play this game with your students to do some uh, game-based learning. Or if you are a parent, and you have kids at home that are learning about counting, you can bring out this Counting Finches game and you can play it with your kids at home. So My Be Board Original Games, you can use it for many different things. And it's really cool because you could just add it as a widget onto your whiteboard and then you can play the games with your classes. Okay, another cool way that you can use My Be Board Originals is backgrounds. 
So over here in the corner, I showed you before that you can access my Viewboard Originals through the corner app, the corner part over here and access the backgrounds. There are two other ways that you can access backgrounds and I will show them to you. You can go back into the embedded browser and you can go into the My Viewboard Originals and over here, there is a tab for backgrounds. You can click that option and it'll have all the different backgrounds. And again, you can also filter it by subject and you can also search within the backgrounds. So that is another useful way to find backgrounds. And the third way, and my personal favorite, is you can go into the originals content that contains all the different activities. And what you can do is you can see which background you like to use in your lesson. So for me, one of the ones that I did was I use the um, Let's Learn Chinese. I use this background in my lesson. So if you recognize this background, this was from the previous episode. And if you see this little icon over here that has an arrow, all you have to do is click on it and then drag and drop it directly onto the canvas. And this is a really cool feature because it won't close out your previous slides and you don't even have to download it. You just directly drag and drop it and it'll just upload onto your canvas. Really cool, right? And as you can see, you can recognize this background from the previous episode. So I just used this slide deck with the different activities and then I edited it to fit my own needs. So as you can see, there is a lock button here. You just click on it and it'll unlock the text. And then now you can type in whatever you'd like for the topic. So topic here. And you can just edit this entire slide deck to fit your needs. So that's the third way that you can use backgrounds. You can just use the different activities and then edit it to fit your topic. So as you can see, you can recognize the little different characters because I used this in the previous lesson and I just edited the content. So that is another cool feature about my Viewboard Originals. I know, I know, there's so many. <laughs> so hopefully you learned a bit more about how to use my Viewboard Originals. Uh, what, which thing was your favorite? Type it in the comments. Did you like the different lesson activities? the game-based learning, or do you really like how you can use the different backgrounds for your lessons? Type it in the comments. Which one was your favorite? So that is our lesson for today, and I hope to see you next time. Have a great day.